Hey, it's Clay. Welcome to another video. Hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be a quick little shootout between two FRFR monitors in a guitar modeling context. Uh, I have a Zytone Passive Wedge and an Atomic CLR. So um, I just kind of wanted to share a little bit of an overview, um, just kind of why I've chosen different things and my just kind of general experience with them. These are two really, really good FRFR solutions. So if you're running a modeling rig, whether it's an Axe FX, um, uh, Line 6 Helix, Kemper, um, Atomic Amplifier, Zoom G3, Pod HD 500, XT Live, whatever you got. If you want really, really good uh, speakers, I would really encourage you guys to take a look at these. Now, to start off with, I kind of wanted to do some pros and cons. Uh, with a monitor shootout like this, it's really difficult to, I guess, get a feel for them in, in terms of audio clips because basically what's happening is I'm running my XFX into one of these speakers, and the XFX is mimicking uh, uh, effects, amps, speaker cabinets, microphone, and so it's supposed to come out of this as a true representation of what is going on inside that box. Well, then if I stick a microphone, it's like you're miking up a microphone of a mic, and it just kind of gets really weird. So I thought some of my practical experiences would be helpful. Now, I will try to do some clips just sticking a room I'm sorry, a microphone in the room to try and kind of capture what it would just be like to be standing in this room listening to these two speakers. But we'll get to that eventually. Uh, so first and foremost, I kind of want to just talk about the two speakers. So uh, one of the things I really want to say is that right off the bat, these are really premium level speakers. I mean, they could withstand a ton of abuse. They're built like tanks. I mean, both of them are really top notch in terms of construction. Um, I really could not say enough. These things would 100% last beatings on the road for years. Um, now, the the CLR is, I believe, listed at about 50 pounds. You can get a Neo version, which brings it down to 36 or so. Um, so the, this, the CLR is going to be a little bit heavier, while the, um, the Zytone is passive, so it doesn't have the amp in it. So if I just pick them up, um, you know, the, the CLR is definitely heavier because it has the amp built in. But, on the flip side, with the Zytone, you need to have an amplifier. So I've been using this Matrix GT800. Um, so with that, I actually needed a bigger rack. So there's kind of um, trade-offs there. So whereas with the CLR, I can just run a single space or a two-unit two unit space rack, whereas with the Zytone, I need to run a four-space rack that was a lot heavier. So um, kind of a toss-up there, really. Now... Um, Another thing I want to talk about is flexibility and customization. So with the Zytone, you have one quarter inch input, and then you also have, over here, you actually have some, um, some switches that can kind of like taper the tone a little bit. Now, I really didn't experiment with a lot of them because I just thought it sounded really good to begin with, but there is a little bit of tone shaping here if you need to adjust your room, which is nice. Um, and then on the matrix, on the CLR, excuse me, I think you have a little bit more in terms of customization. Now, some of this would depend on what type of amp you're using, but with the CLR, you actually have some really handy choices. You have two inputs that are both quarter inch and XLR, which is really nice. Um, you also have a link switch, uh, which is really cool. You have master. I mean, there just is quite a bit here in terms of, you know, and then also the three-way um, preset in terms of whether you want to use it as a wedge, as a backline, or as a, in a free field up on a pole. Um, so the, the uh, Zytone doesn't exactly have those options in terms of, of being customized for that use. So I would give the edge a little bit to the CLR in terms of being able to customize your sound to fit your specific application. Um, and the last thing I wanted to talk about is the main reason why I've kind of used each one. So. When I initially bought the uh, Zytone, my thought was I really wanted to have a very powerful and versatile rig. So I got a passive speaker and an active power amp that were separate. So um, what that allows me to do is I can use the XFX into the power amp, and then from the power amp I have the option of going either into a normal guitar cabinet um, and then disabling the speaker sims or the IRs in my XFX, and then just using my own speaker and getting a very normal, I mean, that when I do that, it, it feels exactly like you're using an amp in a room. I actually have a demo on my channel of comparing a um, 1972 
Bandmaster Reverb to the Bandmaster Reverb in the XFX, and that was the setup that I did. And it was absolutely identical to my ear. In terms of feel and tone, and if anything, the XFX is a lot better because it has a lot more customization. Now, um, and then you can also run, instead of the your guitar cab, you can run into the Zytone and then use the impulse responses in the modeling unit. So you have a lot of flexibility whether you want to use with the cabinets or with the FRFR. Some people just don't like FRFR and that's totally fine. Uh, some people really like an, an, a cabinet in the room. Whereas with FRFR you're simulating sticking a mic in front of a cabinet and listening to it like in the control, control room of a studio. It really is down to your personal preference and I felt like with the Zytone I, and the power amp I had the configuration, the ability to really set it up the way I wanted it to. Now, on the flip side, I felt like this setup was a little bit um, bulkier, and it actually ended up making me take two trips, which is, it sounds a little bit um, petty, because really, at the bottom line, this is a lot better than running an amp and a 4x12 and a pedal board and a guitar, but um, with, with the CLR, I can put the guitar over my shoulder in a gig bag, I can have the XFX and the foot controller in this bag, and then I can have the CLR in my other hand. Whereas with the other setup, I had this really big, hefty rack that had the power amp and the power conditioner and everything, and then I would need four hands, basically. Uh, so I, in my mind, it was about consolidating into a more efficient and more easy-to-transport rig that I could carry all in one trip, whereas I needed two trips with the Zytone. So um, I simplified my rack a little bit. And, and just need to can go XFX and the speaker because the power up is built in and then my foot controller and then guitar over my shoulder. So really it just kind of comes down to personal preference and what type of a setup appeals more to you whether you want to run the passive speaker so you have the option of running the uh, the guitar cabinets or if you want to run you know really I end up I really like the the FRFR sound I really like the impulse responses I've got in my XFX so I found myself not using the guitar cabinet as much uh, as the setup would allow me to do. So that was kind of the main driving factor behind my choice. Um, so now I kind of want to talk about probably what's on everybody's mind, and that's tone. So let's go ahead and roll some of those clips, and then I'll talk about it a little bit afterwards. Okay, so up first we're going to do the CLR. Uh, the setup is very simple. I'm just running my parts strat into my XFX using a Marshall preset uh, straight into the back of the... Uh, CLR, I am running it in the tilt position because I'm going to be using it as a floor wedge. Um, and so uh, this is hopefully just give you a little bit of an idea of what this is like. But again, uh, I find it difficult to convey the sound in a YouTube video, but here's we're trying. <laughs> clip we're going to run the Zytone. Again, the signal chain has stayed relatively simple. At guitar, XFX, into the Matrix GT 800FX power amp, into the Zytone passive wedge. So here we go. <laughs>
into the CLR real quick. So, I mean, really, I think in terms of tone, these guys are there. They do a very, very good job of accurately delivering the sound that you're putting into it. With neither one do I really feel like, oh, this one's more realistic or this one's more harsh. I mean, they both, I think, are very, very similar. And that's good. That's a good thing. You don't want to have a unique or a signature sound uh, to your amp modeler or to your, to your FRFR system. You want the amp modeler to be... Uh, providing all of that. And with the x effects, you know that the amp sims are good. So let that do all the work. And I think that's what these speakers do. Um, really, I think it just comes down to features. I don't think that there's a choice here in terms of tone and one being or better or worse than the other. I think it really just comes down to feature set. Um, and really, if you have a modeling device, I would highly, highly encourage and recommend that you invest in a good FRFR system. Um, Something like the CLR, if you just need good FRFR, this thing is going to really deliver in spades. Uh, if you need the port of, or the versatility to also be able to run the power amp with the speaker cabinet, the Zytone is a really good choice. Um, honestly, I, I like both setups, and uh, it really just comes down to what type of a setup you would like to run. Um, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this demo. Please let me know your thoughts down below, and I'll see you soon. Bye.